got air balloons. And we're like floating floating them up in the air and then we have this little wheel thingy and then we see how many yards it is. 83, 83, and 6. what'd you have for your Students began in third grade learning history of hot air balloons, history of flight. And so with expanding that on to fourth graders, they wanted to know why hot air rises. Well then they made a model out of that. And so the model, when we heated it, they collected information, how high it went, how far it went, how long it took for the balloon to arrive. We put air in it and it and it up. Right, now this one has a hole in it. What's going to happen with the hole? What's it going to cause it to do? I've learned that if you have a hole in the balloon, it won't work. I hope that they learn lots of leadership and teamwork because we work together with third, fourth, fifth grade as a team. I hope that they see the value in science, and kind of learning um, how science, math, engineering works all together. We want them to have a, an appreciation of all the different weather instruments that we use. Number one, that's such a big fourth and fifth grade science standard. Also, we want them to see when you make a, a model, how to use that model and to use different types of information. I think it's fun because um, you get to make your own hot air balloon and you get to learn about the history of hot air balloons and then you get to fly.